Lockie Henderson, welcome back to Carlton for 2011. Thank you very much, good to be here. It's been an interesting uh, summer for you. Um, you know, you've had to go through a little bit to get to where you are now. Uh, for the benefit of uh, Carlton members and supporters, can you just explain a little bit about what you've had to endure? Yeah, I uh, started out in the uh, start of November and then uh, came about middle of December, I started getting a bit of groin pain and we got a scan on it and about 10 days later ended up seeing the specialist and went in and got the uh, full hip hop. So I had two bits of bone shaved off my uh, femur and my labrum. Uh, re-stitched back up and here I am now 10 and a half weeks later or 11 weeks later now so and I played half a game. And importantly you got through without any soreness? Yeah I got through fine I uh, got through just played half so I was just a half a ball ants and uh, pulled up really well from it which is good. Is the injury you suffered a, a hereditary flaw or, or is it something um, that has been there for some time a legacy of wear and tear is it something you may ha uh, recur again down the track? Uh, it won't recur again. It's sort of, um, as far as I understand it, you've sort of you're born with. Some people are born with extra bits of bone on their femur, and a lot of the boys have had the, the hip surgery that I've had. So um, we're we're pretty good at go, getting through it rehab wise. And uh, yeah, I think it's just hereditary the way it's uh, the way it's uh, been. And I think it was a, a ten and a half week layoff layoff overall. Are you basically on schedule or ahead of schedule, or, or where are you in terms of your comeback? Uh, yeah, it's usually about 10 to 12 before you play, so I've played in, in 10 and a half, which is good, so I'm, I'm ahead of schedule at the moment. I'll play close to a full game this week, um, wherever it is, and yeah, take it from there, so I'll be, I'll be up for selection round one. And how far back does 10 and a half weeks absence from the training track in pre-season set you back? Yeah, I was blowing a bit when I got back. Um, I'm, still, I'm still trying to get in, doing a few extras here and there, and just got to get back into game fitness now, which, which won't take too long. It'll be two or three games and I'll be uh, ready to go. In, in saying that, you look like you've trimmed down a little bit. Where are you at in terms of uh, you know, your normal playing weight? Oh, I'm back to it now. I uh, sort of lost a bit over the hip because we're trying to keep my food intake down a bit. Um, but I'm back to back to what I uh, was last year. Do you envisage again? Uh, you get the call up playing a half, or do you expect to play, you know, longer period of uh, the game this week? Uh, I'll be playing the longest period of the game this week. Uh, I'll be playing close to about 70, 80 percent, I'd say. Okay, and the, so the build-ups on schedule, you know, you, you're getting there. Yeah, the build-up is build-up's fine. Everything's everything's going according to plan at the moment. I guess you're fortunate in one respect, uh, having uh, a ten and a half week layoff, in that uh, your mates have uh, all, to a man, said that this is probably the hardest pre-season they've ever done. Yeah, I th just watching the sidelines the last ten weeks, they've had it pretty tough. Um, bit, bit easier after Christmas it is. Before Christmas is always the hardest part, but. Um, yeah, I, I have been. They, ha, they have had it pretty tough, and uh, I've had it pretty tough coming back, which is, uh, which is always a good thing. Lockie, we both better quit while we're behind. Uh, we get copying a bit of flack here, so all the best for the weekend and the weeks beyond, and let's hope you're there for the cut round one. Yep, thank you very much.